Hi, Cancer. Welcome in. Cancer, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. Okay, messages for Cancer. Well, your first card that flew out, it says happiness. This is where you're headed. You're headed for happiness. We have pale. It says time to get out of a situation. So if there's something in your life, Cancer, that is not creating happiness for you, if there's if there's someone or something in your life that makes you feel stagnant, uh, it's time to get out of this situation. It's time to leave something behind that doesn't serve you. And I like to tell everybody that we wake up every day and we get to choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice. And it's kind of like, even when people come into our life and they try to provoke us or they try to make us feel bad or when bad situations occur, we still have the choice to be happy, happy life. Okay. Um, sometimes we need to remember that bad days are just bad days. It's not a bad life. Um, I feel like the main message here for you, Cancer, is to get out of any sort of situations that are not serving you anymore. We have flowers. Oh, says happiness. Wow, a big emphasis on your happiness here. And time to get out of the situation. So... If something's not making you happy, or if someone is not making you happy, it just might not be a good fit for you, Cancer. But this week should all should be all about your happiness, your pursuit of happiness here. It's time to ask yourself what makes you happy. We have four leaf clover, great, it's a good fortune. I feel like this is telling me that your happiness is in your hands and it's up to you. I feel like you have a great future and good fortune on the way if you make and if, if you get out of situations that are not serving you. It's kind of telling me that you your the your luck is in your hands. Your happiness is in your hands. You have clouds, it says temporary problems. I feel like this is also a message that whatever this issue is, you get to decide if it's temporary or not. And that's also indicating what I said before. It's, it, you could be having a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day, it's not a cloudy life. I mean, actually right now it's storming. It's a cloudy day here, I can't see the sky. It's, it's foggy, it's rainy, it's storming. And spirits saying that it could just, you could be experiencing a bad situation and you have the power to get out of it. You could be experiencing a bad day, but it's not a bad life. We have coins, so money will be coming to you, Cancer more about this coins card okay broom it says new home new attitude so some of you guys could literally be purchasing a new environment for yourself okay or you could be putting money into your home your space uh, creating a more comfortable space for you but I will tell you cancer um, those of you that say you're not moving you're staying put it's very important to keep your space clean okay new home new attitude don't be afraid to uh, put money into your space when you have it. Don't be afraid to buy things that reflect you and your goals. And keeping your home clean will definitely perk you up. Some of you guys could be nesting at this time. Um, just kind of like making your environment a happy place. Okay, also this is an indicator that if you're not feeling great about yourself, get up, clean your house, 
take care of the dirty laundry, okay? Uh, it's going to perk you up. New home, new attitude. It's going to make you feel better. Okay, and then you have boot. It says increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goal. I'm going to pull one more for you. It says chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Someone new is entering your life. Let's get you an angel number. could be a new friend okay this could be a new lover for some of you guys this could also be a new family member give me an angel number please for cancer okay you have angel number 20 the affirmation is I am harmonious it says you relate to others on an almost cosmic level you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. So I feel like it's your harmonious nature, Cancer. It's your diplomatic uh, nature that persuades people into seeing your side, your ideas, okay? And I feel like this is your message that you are connecting with people on a cosmic level. And we're all connected, right? We're all connected. But the people in your environment right now feel extra connected to you this week and connected to the things that you have to say. We're going to take a look at your love life, Cancer. When it comes to love for cancer, please. When it comes to love for cancer. Let's see. You have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We got this King of Swords energy returning to your life. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Nine of Swords. Okay, so somebody that you have had an ending with uh, could have been a blowout with even for some of you guys. I feel like a connection that you were involved in was very painful, very slow, okay? It's kind of like the energy of killing me slowly. Um, I feel like this person really has stressed you out in the past, and I feel like this person could have even possibly betrayed most of you. Okay, it's an unexpected return, an unexpected re reconciliation here. Yeah, someone's going to make you an offer, okay? Now, this Empress energy, I feel like you guys are feeling in, like you are in your Empress energy. A lot of you guys have actually grown spiritually, emotionally, physically even. You have grown since you have seen this person. Uh, the Empress card can indicate pregnancy. doesn't have to be, okay, for some of you guys. But I feel like this person is wanting to make you an offer. I feel like this person missed out on an opportunity with you in the past, and they're wanting to come back and recreate an opportunity with you. 
And so you're going to feel like you have a chance here to, you're, you're going to feel like you're going to have a new opportunity with someone. However, this Empress energy, you know, I feel like, again, you've grown. You're, you're really not the same. You've matured is what I want to say. You have matured since you and this person have spoken or since you and this person have been physically around each other. How do they see cancer? How do they see cancer right now? The magician? Clarify this magician. <clears throat> they want to invest in the connection with you. Um, I feel like they see you as somebody that is trying to manifest a life for themselves. I feel like they see you as someone who is trying to mature. You're trying to grow. You're trying to bring things into fruition for you. So they do notice that you're taking action on your personal growth, your self-development. They know that you're doing the things that you need to do for you. Um, at least that's what they're under the assumption. Um, we have Libra, Taurus energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy. Tell me more about this death card or how they feel. Three of, they don't want this, guys, they don't want this to be over. They're not ready for it to be over. They're not ready to call it quits. They don't want, they don't want this ending to happen. What do they want from cancer? Communication. They want to talk to you. They want forward movement here. I feel like this person's going to tell you they've grown as well. Or that's what they're trying to prove to you. This person's coming forward to prove to you that they have become self-sufficient, independent. Uh, some of you guys, they're coming forward to tell you they've broken free from something they were attached to. This Will of Fortune tells me that they want you to see changes they've made in themselves. Yeah, Ace of Wands. for Someone's about to take action towards you to rekindle, to heal a connection. And I feel like this person definitely has had a lot of time, Cancer, to think about the situation. And now they're feeling ready to come in and speak with you about everything that has happened and everything that has been happening since you two parted ways. I'm going to pull you a Lover's Oracle. Let's get a Lover's Oracle for this connection, please, Spirit. One more. Okay, it says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. And this person is not accepting an ending. They're, they're not willing to accept an ending. They want to reconcile. They want to discuss things with you, Cancer. So those are your messages. Bye.